G'day, you with James from CrowdRender, and in this video we're exploring the topic of how RAM affects rendering performance. We'll be experimenting with Blender's ray tracing engine cycles and comparing how performance changes when we go from 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Our experimental setup uses an ASRock N68S3 motherboard and an AMD Phenom 2 chip, and we use two 8 gigabyte modules of RAM from G-Skill, the parts are in the description below. For our method, we just installed one stick, ran some benchmarks, installed the second stick, and re-ran the benchmarks. All nice and simple. And those benchmarks will be the Agent 327 scene and also the Barbershop interior scene, which are available from Blender.org if you want to give us a try yourself. Finally, we created one last scene to use for testing, which is made of Menga cubes or Sapinski cubes or whatever you call them. Anyway, here are the results. So you can see there is actually a consistent reduction in render times, although for some of the scenes it's not as great as you might have liked. Certainly for the Agent 327 scene and the Barbershop interior scene, we only really see a reduction in render time of about 6% on average. Now, the story is a little bit different for the Sapinski city scene. In this case, we see a reduction in render time of about 15%, which is three times larger than for the other two scenes. So we want to know what's going on in this case. And this graph gives us a hint. So in the yellow, you can see what Blender reported as how much RAM each of these scenes used. And certainly for Agent 327 and Barbershop, there wasn't really a huge amount of RAM used compared to, let's just say, the 8GB configuration, and certainly not the 16 but for Sapinski, almost an entire 8 gigabytes of RAM was used. And of course, in the 8 gigabyte configuration, there are other things in RAM, including the operating system. So we've illustrated kind of what happens here, which is called paging, for those of you who don't already know what that means, which is where the CPU is trying to get rid of stuff out of RAM so it can actually fit all of the stuff that Blender needs in order to render. So it's here just getting rid of data and putting it into usually the hard drive. And accessing hard drives is significantly slower than main memory. You can see here in this chart that even if you have an SSD, doing a read operation can take about four times longer than doing the equivalent operation in RAM. Which means we really want to avoid paging wherever possible. And a great way to do that is to actually give your system more physical memory, so upgrade your RAM. So in this situation, that's what we're doing. We're giving more room to the table so it will fit more stuff on it. Which means when we load the operating system, we've got plenty of room to load it and also all the other programs we have to have running. And when it comes time to load Blender or another application, it loads nice and fast. Now, of course, another way to do that is actually to either get rid of programs that you don't need running or optimize your scene. Both have the same effect. There's plenty of room in RAM. So really, it's up to you. But the key takeaway is make sure you've got enough physical RAM to fit your operating system, other critical programs you need running, and the entirety of your scene in Blender or other applications, same kind of rule. And you'll find that you'll get the full benefit of your CPU and GPU. And that's all for this video. If you really liked it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from us, then please also hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video really soon. Until then, take care guys.